Hi everyone, this is Deb Kim and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, take a minute and subscribe. There are lots of good videos coming up, so be sure to ring the bell so you'll get updates on my videos. So today I want to take you through the life of a cichlid. So we're going to begin by stripping, putting them in a tumbler, um, and I'll explain to you each step until they are free swimming and ready to be on their own. So please stay tuned. This is a great basin for stripping cichlid mums of their fry. Here I'm stripping a female erratus. She is holding quite a good little brood. What I do is pick her up and hold her gently but firmly so she can't move. With a toothpick, I open her mouth and let the fry out. Often stripping a female of her free swimming fry is harder than stripping her of eggs. Sometimes the fry don't want to come out, and then when they do, they try to get right back into mom's mouth. If left alone too long, she will pick up her fry again. On occasion, I have let them do that. I have been stripping around 14 days so the fry are free swimming and I can bypass the tumbler stage. If I do strip and they are close to free swimming, I'll leave mum alone for a few minutes and allow her to pick up her babies. Once she's done that, I put her back in the tank for another week and then strip her. Rather than stripping her twice, it's best just to take a peek by opening her mouth a little. You will clearly see the eggs or fry. Most often you can tell they are free swimming just by looking at mom's buccal cavity. When she's holding eggs, it will be a lot lighter in color. Usually the fry make it look darker. Where she keeps her fry is called the buccal cavity. It expands to hold her babies while she's incubating them. You can imagine how squished they must be in there. When stripping her, I like to give her a rest so she can bring her babies up to the front of her buccal cavity. Rubbing under her chin will also encourage them to come forward. Now this girl looks like she's pretty much done. I'll just leave her a second and try one more time. So this is a nice little group of fry. If you want to count your fry, the best way to count your fry is take a still shot and then count them in the picture. This little female is a Solosi. I'm excited for her babies. Solosi are one of the few in Buna that are dimorphic, which simply means the male and female look completely different. The males are blue with black bars and the females are dark golden yellow. So let's have a peek. Oh, she has a nice mouthful of eggs. For first time mums, stripping at seven days or later is best. That gives them time to bond with their eggs and she will be less likely to spit them in the tank in a panic while you're trying to catch her. Look at the eggs this little girl has given up. I saw one more egg in there. There it is. I think she's done now. Yep, all done. What a great root for a first time mom. This is the last mom I'm stripping today. She is reef cichlid. She's super dark in color. So let's see what she is going to give up today. Now I know they won't be free swimming yet. I'd say they're going to be about halfway there. They will need to be tumbled for a few days. Oh yes, they still have a fair size yolk sac on them. She's given me a few broods already, so she's much easier to strip. Well, these three girls have given me excellent broods. Now I'm going to set up the tumbler. I have the main chamber in a cup of tank water. Add the babies, these are the Solosi eggs. Then I take the disc and put it inside the lid for the chamber. Then I take the stack, add that, 
take the air stone, slide it down into the stack with the tubing, snap on the brackets, and it is ready to go in the tank. And here we have both tumblers tumbling. Now the ones on the left are the reef cichlids and they're probably only about three or four days from being free swimming. And then the ones on the right are the Solosi babies and they have just hatched so they'll probably be in the tumbler for probably another full week, maybe a little longer. And here are the Aratus fry. There are 41. So I'm just going to let them go into the 10 gallon aquarium. That will be their home for the next little while. The others will join this group as soon as they're free swimming. So here are the Aratus fry 24 hours after being put in this 10 gallon grow out aquarium. The first few hours they were all in the castle and the tank looked totally empty. So at this stage they are approximately 16 days old. They are old enough to fend for themselves, although if they were with mom at this stage she would still be holding them until about the 24-25 day mark and then she would release them. And then she only releases them when she just can't hold them anymore. So they have a very good bond with their babies. In this 30 gallon grow out, these cichlids are about two months old. They were from three broods and they added up to about 125 fry. Now you may notice a couple that look a little bigger. That's because they were significantly smaller in the older group, so I kept them back and put them in this group. So now let's do a quick recap of the stages of a cichlid. So after breeding, mom will be holding the cichlids in her buccal cavity and it will look like she's chewing gum because she'll be rolling the eggs around to keep them moving. At seven days, the little eggs will hatch and there will be a head and tail on the ball, which is the yolk sac. Then at approximately 14 to 16 days, the yolk sac will be used up and the fish are now free swimming baby fish. The mother would normally hold them to 24 to 26 days, but at this point they are fine on their own. And these are my oldest fry and they are about three and a half months old. They're in a 40 gallon and there are approximately 250 fry in this aquarium. I stripped eight mums all on the same day and they were all holding free swimmers. So that was pretty cool. But these guys are doing well and some will go into my aquarium and some I will give away. But it's always fun to be part of the breeding process and watch these guys develop and grow. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, I wish you a great day tomorrow and I will talk to you soon. Bye.